Hi, this is Dr. Pramod Tripathi and you're watching me on sifi.com. What are the different activities of freedom from diabetes? One of the major activities which uh, we invite people to come into is something called as a mega foundation program. This is a four hour power packed program which actually shakes the basic foundation with respect to food and exercise and stress. Uh, so this happens for hundreds of people. We usually get uh, between 300 to 800 any of the numbers uh, in the major cities where we do these workshops and we give them a full experience on, on these three major dimensions. Uh, besides the mega foundation program, we also do a basic program for one and a half hours which is only on diet and we also do an intensive program after the mega foundation program which is for 12 weeks. So 12 weeks they are following up with a doctor every day, every day reporting their sugar levels, every day getting insights how they can reduce the insulin and tablets which is a very, very unique service. And then we have some very interesting group sessions. So we brought in group therapy big time into reversing diabetes. So they come again after two weeks and three weeks and four weeks and uh, they go through two consultations and there's a daily group chat. We've got a special app called the FFD app and it's a very interesting tightly bound group for 12 weeks which gives results to the tune of almost 70% going off insulin and tablets completely. So basic program, mega foundation program, intensive program and those who can't access us by being in a particular city where we are, they can go through the distance learning program. All this information is available on www.freedomfromdiabetes.org. How do you help your patients manage stress? Yeah, stress is something very now uh, an interesting thing and a lot of workshops are happening on that and a lot of misconceptions also uh, and misworkshops also. So I've been a corporate trainer for health and stress management for almost 14 years. I've trained very, very senior people in top 140 corporates in 10 countries. And what I've realized over a period of time is first, before we get into stress management, we need to help the person experience where the stress is. And the stress is there inside the body, inside the energy circuit somewhere. Uh, it may be anger towards a spouse or the boss or you know, feeling lost in your career, whether you're doing whatever you're doing, uh, is it the best thing for you or not. It could be hurt because of some near and dear one did something or not do something which you wanted him or her to do. So the hurt, the anger, the sadness, let's say loss of relationships, death in families, or even day-to-day -day hurries and worries and anxieties, they all need to be experienced in the body. So we need to make them close eyes and go deeper down the body into the spine, uh, into the base of the spine, into the feet, into the base of the feet. As you are listening to me, maybe you can just experiment a bit. Just take a deeper breath in now. Inhale. And with your eyes open, just go a little down in your body, in your heart, in your stomach. Uh, just go a little down into the base of your spine. Just slow down your thinking and just go into your thighs, into your knees, into your feet. And as you are located in the lower parts of your body, then if you wish, you can just close your eyes and just imagine or visualize something which was stressful for you. Maybe yesterday, maybe day before, maybe just a week back. And just notice what happened that time. Where did you feel that anger? Where did you feel the hurt? What happened inside your body and energy circuits? We make people experience that, just feel for that and release that. Stress is not managed by suppressing it. Stress is not managed by diverting away from it and getting into entertainment and, you know, alcohol or relationships or, you know, weekend parties. They might divert you for some time. They might give you some pleasurable experiences, pleasurable sensations, but then the negative sensations come back. So the best thing is not to divert, not to suppress, but just take it head on, feel the stressful energy and release it at the level of the body. That's what I recommend.